Hello, Salam Alaikum, Uncle. Daud? Alia? But Alia, I asked for your Baba's number, not your number. Um. Anyway, Eid Mubarak. Eid is today? I think so, because I saw the moon in your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Stop it, you. Do you know, Alia? I asked you from Allah 30,000 times. No way, how is that possible? Because I did that on Laylatul Qadr. Subhanallah, you're so smart. Do you know, if I had to choose between you and Miss World, I would choose you. Do you know why? Why? Because I don't want Miss World. I want Miss Akhira. <laughs> this is why I love you. I'm a hijabi girl in a halami world. Life is Islamic, it's fantastic. You can see my hair or touch me anywhere. Imagination, Jannah destination. Hijabi girl, you are the dreams to my eyes, the ketchup to my fries, the truth to my lies, the light to my sunrise, the gift to my surprise, the hello to my goodbyes. You are the samosas to my iftari, the chicken to my biryani, the goat to my qurbani, the sweetness to my honey, the son-in-law to my mommy. I thought you were impressed. I am, but tonight could be Laylatul Qadr which is better than 30,000 nights. Do you want us to be spending it like this flirting with each other? Um, no. Good, instead let's make more istighfar and pray for each other to Allah. Okay. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر جزاك الله خيرا son you reminded me that it's the last 10 days of Ramadan so I should worship Allah more and do more good deeds but why is the last 10 days of Ramadan so important dad? because Laylatul Qadr is in one of the last 10 days of Ramadan but when exactly is Laylatul Qadr dad? Is some men amongst the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were shown in their dreams that the night of Qadr was in the last seven nights of Ramadan. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, It seems that all your dreams agree that the night of Qadr is in the last seven nights and whoever wants to search for it should search in the last seven. And in another hadith, Prophet Muhammad said, I came out to inform you about the night of Qadr, but such and such persons were quarreling, so the news about it had been taken away. Yet that might be for your own good, so search for it on the 29th, 27th, and 25th. SubhanAllah, how blessed could Laylatul Qadr be? Allah says in the Quran that the night of Qadr is better than thousand months. So the worship and the good deeds during night of Qadr is better than the worship and good deeds of thousand months. If tonight turns out to be Laylatul Qadr and I give away hundred dollars in charity, it would be as if I gave away million dollars in charity. Sent. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so it was all just a dream? What was just a dream? I was doing so many acts of worship that like praying, reciting, doing dhikr and giving charity. Uh -huh. It might be shaitan trying to keep you away from doing all that ibadah in real life and get great rewards.
Allah says in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر Tonight could be ليلة القدر and doing acts of worship in ليلة القدر is better than doing acts of worship in thousand months I'll go do more ibadah than that. Today is Laylat al-Qadr. Today could be Laylat al-Qadr, so I should do more ibadah. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I came out to inform you about the night. Why Laylatul Qadr is a very superior night. And Laylatul Qadr, its ibadah is superior to the worship of 1,000 months, 80, more than 83 years, continuous ibadah. If you happen to stand up in prayer at night, on the night of the 27th, meaning tomorrow is the 27th of Ramadan, for instance, or the 29th, or the 23rd, so it's not necessarily the 27th. There are some ahadith indicated it was the 27th because it happened once, twice, several times to be on the 27th. But not necessarily. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Laylatul Qadr is a night that travels. So it is not the same night on every Ramadan. Mm. It's not. And this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have concealed in order to let his servants compete with regards to ibadah and not to sit back, rest, recline, and be lazy. Because I assure you, I assure you, if it is confirmed today that Laylatul Qadr was the first day of Ramadan, people will just sit back and that's it. Khalas, my night of ibadah was better than 1,000 months, why do I have to continue? So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Almighty concealed uh, on what night will it be? He just said, it is one of the nights of Ramadan, the Prophet wasallam limited uh, the, uh, the time to the last 10 nights of Ramadan. It is from sunset till Fajr. Also Surah Al-Qadr says, Salamun hiya, hatta matla' al-Fajr. So once the dawn appears, it's over. The night is over. Those who did not really get to work, it's over. Because you can tell, at sunrise, the sun would rise without sunbeams or rays that you can look at it with your naked eye and it would not hurt you. It would look like a moon. And that night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا On that night, Jibreel alayhi salam ar-ruh and the rest of the angels, they descend. They come down to our earth. They enjoy the recitation of the Qur'an. They join us in ibadah. So I want you to imagine that a place that's full of angels. Allah. How will it be? Very pleasant weather. Very nice. Neither cold nor hot. It may be raining. Because rain is a, is a sign of mercy. Mm-hmm. And that's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked us to, to make dua while it's raining. Where your dua is most likely to be answered and accepted. And uh, since the angels are everywhere, I don't think you can hear the barking of a dog. Because the angels do not exist in a place where a uh, dog is in. So, Al-Ard will be full of peace. Mm-hmm. Weather will be very pleasant, neither cold nor hot. And it is your opportunity to seize that night in ibadah in order to earn the reward of worshiping Allah for more than 83 years continuously. Which night is it? It is one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So work on them once they begin from now. Start practicing because Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha mm-hmm. Allah narrated that whenever the last 10 nights of Ramadan would begin, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa would do the following. Shadda mi'zarahu would fasten his waist belt. It's a sign that he's going to work very hard and mm-hmm. labor. And ahya layla, ayqadha ahla. And he would awaken his family. Everybody get up, let's pray. وَأَحْيَا Layla, He would make his night like the day, alive. Recitation, dua, dhikr, prayer. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha ardaha, when she asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what to say if it is Naylatul Qadr, he said, say, 
اللهم أعني اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عني That is the dua to be said If it is known and confirmed It is Laila القدر Yet it will be confirmed next morning Just last thing I know that we'll run out of time I remember when I was very young And I joined a group of people Who worship on their own way And on the 27th They celebrated that night There was plenty of food Sweet and drinks and everything So mm. we ate our fill And we drank To the point that We could not even pray tarawih mm. So the real celebration of the last 10 nights and the odd nights and Laylatul Qadr if you're confirmed if you know when it is it is by praying by making dhikr by reciting the Quran and by saying Allahumma inna ka'afu wun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to reach the night of Laylatul Qadr Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Inna وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم سلام تنزل الملائكة وروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر